you have a guy and this is your eye level. So the angle of elevation simply means the angle here. So if you have an object, say a tree, and the angle of elevation on this bird over here is theta. Now, similarly, if there is some grass at the foot of the tree, so there's some grass, and then there's a particular insect here, the angle of depression is simply just this angle from your eye level to this point, and this is the angle of depression. Now let's look at the example question. You have a lighthouse, and the lighthouse is 50 meters tall. You have two boats. You don't know the distance the lighthouse is from the boats. All you have is the angle elevation of the top of the lighthouse to the boats. So this boat is 48 degrees, and this is 38 degrees. Now find the distance between the two boats. So this is a question, and it can be a real-world question. So if you're in a boat and Captain Jack Sparrow asks you to find out, but you know trigonometry, so you can calculate it for him. So how do we do this? Now, we know that the tangent of 48 degrees is equal to opposite over adjacent. That's called the adjacent, which is also the distance of boat A to the lighthouse, small a. So this is equals to 50 over small a. So a is 50 over tangent 48 degrees. We do the same for the second boat. So boat B, the distance between the lighthouse, and boat B is B tangent of 38 degrees is equals to 50 over B. And if we do the same, B is equals to 50 over tangent 38 degrees. So to find the distance between the two boats, it is just B minus A. And you have B, you also have A, if you plug the numbers into your calculator, you will have the answer. So three significant figures will be 19.0 meters, so it's pretty near. Okay, you have a cliff 65 meters high. The angle of depression of a boat from the top of the cliff is 32 degrees. So find the distance of the boat to the cliff. Now you can see that this is a real world problem. You can have a device to measure the angle of a boat to the top of the, cl of the cliff. And if you know the height of the cliff, you know the distance of the boat to the cliff. So real world, real world navigation problem. Again, Jack Sparrow will be very happy. So if we plot out our diagram, we will have something like this. So this is the cliff here, and it is 65 meters high. Your boat is here. So the angle of depression is really this angle, 32 degrees. But this is an alternate angle, so your, in your triangle, the, the angle here is also 32 degrees. So if you know the height of the cliff, which is 65, it is a simple matter to find out this, which is the distance. So tangent 32 degrees is equal to opposite over the distance, which is what you want. So D is equal to 65 over tangent 32 degrees and it is equals to 104 meters. So the distance is about 104 meters. So as you can see, this is a little tip. Most of the cases, you will have to use tangent to solve because you really don't have the hypotenuse. You only have either this or this.